really does feel like a final outpost of the USSR. And there's enormous statues of Lenin and tanks and memorials and the amount of Soviet pride is bonkers, dude. There are a few hidden parts of the world that most of us will be shocked exist today. And when I heard about the region we're about to travel to, I couldn't believe what I was hearing. Well, Transnistria is an uncontrolled region of Moldova. Hidden behind a highly militarized border, this region is, in fact, a country that doesn't exist. But this isn't a made-up micronation like we've covered in the past. This place has a population of close to half a million people. They've built their own army, have their own flag, their own president, currency, and even national anthem. They call themselves the Prinasdrovian Moldavian Republic, also known by outsiders as Transnistria. The country was founded in very shady circumstances, but the strangest part about this fake country is that they consider themselves the final stronghold of the Soviet Union. Transnistria, a small strip of land between Moldova and Ukraine, has been disputed territory since the fall of the Soviet Union. It declared itself as a Soviet Republic in 1990. The symbols of the old Soviet Union still have pride of place. But nobody other than a few other unrecognized countries recognizes it as an actual independent country. And so what is Transnistria? And who still lives in this strange little country? Well, with conflicting information online about the safety of traveling to this region, we began our journey to the country that doesn't exist on a map. What's up, dude? The guy that checked our passports just subscribed to the channel. Really? Yeah, he was like, what are you doing here? Why are you going to Transnistria? And I explained everything and then he subscribed. <laughs> Even though Eric is American, he grew up most of his childhood in Russia, speaking fluent Russian. And this trip will be his first one back into a Russian-speaking country since he left at 15. To get there, however, we first had to find a cab that could drive us across Transnistria's fake border. Can he cross over the border? Yeah, he said he can. Okay. Yeah, he says he's from there. Oh. I said to a lot of people go there and he's like, no, people only leave. It's taken a while. So it's technically not a border, but they believe it's a border. Ah, so he's saying because like the country doesn't exist, you can money can appear there and then it can disappear, so it's like you can do like sketchy stuff with money. So. Welcome to Transnistria. It's just the fact that it's a fake country makes it insanely strange and different. So I guess we're gonna go explore and try to figure out if we can get an idea of what this place really is. These are the old Soviet water and drink dispensers. Only other time I've seen these were abandoned inside Chernobyl. Half the city feels frozen in time in the Soviet Union. I mean, look at this car. What even brand is this? And there's military everywhere. Like, I've never seen so many individual military officers just walking around, like, all over the place. It's really confusing. Like, some things here look ancient. Some of the signs and others look like they were just built. It's so strange. You take a couple of steps off the main street and then buildings look like they're completely falling apart. It doesn't look destroyed. It like is destroyed. Здравствуйте. <laughs> is this a street? Yeah. That's a toilet. Look at that. Oh. Oh, there's a guy right there. Hello. Как туалет нормальный? Shit. It's so weird. There's like uh, on the main street it all looks new and then you take one step off and like this is after walking around for a bit and getting a confusing first impression we decided it was time to blend in with the haircut and some tracksuits no dude all my worst haircuts were by russian speaking barbers oh wow this is kind of cool i'm not sure if getting a haircut in a russian basement is a good idea or a great idea yeah just like a, like he has you know like a I genuinely have no idea if he understood. Is it good? Do you understand what I'm... Look at 
got haircuts, motherfuckers. Now all we need is fucking clothes. No brand deals, unfortunately, from Adidas, but go uh, go get Seek Discomfort instead. Yeah. We definitely got ripped off. Apparently this is real, which I have a hard time believing. We ran into football players that apparently play for the team here that's playing Real Madrid tomorrow night, which is insane. So yes, we discovered that the country that doesn't exist's football team, Sheriff Tiraspol, recently miraculously qualified in the Champions League with the best clubs in Europe compete, becoming the lowest rated team to ever qualify. And by complete coincidence, we just happened to be there the night that they were playing Real Madrid, one of the greatest, most renowned sports teams in the world. And with the game being in Madrid, we arranged to watch it on a big screen in the city. But first, we wanted to get to know some locals. How are you? How are you? Where are you from? <laughs> are you from here? In <laughs> You guys like living here? Yes, he's from France. He says our style is our styles off. <laughs> so this this did not work. This did not work. Say goodbye. 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 Yeah. Peace, brother. Peace, brother. Peace, brother. Goodbye. Peace, brother. Have a good one. really is the last outpost of the Soviet Union. I mean, look at this. This is a functioning government building with a communist sign at the entrance. Wow, the amount of Soviet pride is bonkers, dude. Look at these coins. It's like literally Monopoly money. I've never seen currency like this. It's just like plastic chips. What is the iClub? Is this like anyone who owns an iPhone here gets to be a part of a club? <laughs> My friend! I'm f***ing to Yeah! <laughs> Very good! It's a Soviet cafeteria. There's the... This is what a cafeteria is like. Yum yum. Yum yum, yeah. <laughs> I've never seen food like this. What is this? Borscht? Borscht. It's alright. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> How come there's all this, or like, Maybe can she talk a little bit about the decoration? Объясните тему ресторана, почему как бы советская тема. А потому что уже все за это забыли за Советский Союз. А здесь вот решили просто восстановить это. И это классно, мне нравится. Это вот компоты мы варим, да, вот в этих вот кастрюлях. Мы вот это наливаем. Этого уже нет. Вот. Yeah, so I think it's more of like an experiential thing than it is like we want to bring communism back. It's more like the way she's talking about it, it sounds like it's more of like the experience and the memory of like what they grew up with. Bye, see you, bye. We're walking into uh, one of the main markets. Здрасте. Dude, a, a merchant just gave me this. What? And he just walked, I walked by and said, hello. And he goes, he starts talking to me in Russian. I'm like, and he's like, have this. He said, God will give him more. Oh. Я сейчас приготовлю чай, oh, и мы будем чайку попьем с вами вместе. Right now? Подождите, подождите. Yeah. She, she's closing her shop to go make tea Спасибо большое. Oh Сейчас я вам принесу целую. Bringing us apples and cookies. We didn't even, we just walked in here. <laughs> She wants you to have love and health and 
Спасибо Целую вам большое. Большое, большое любовь. А. Как своим сыновьям. Ой. Мой дорогой, ты прям вот похож на моего сына. She says you look like her son, Constantine. Дай Бог вам здоровья, на тебе мой Спасибо вам Пейте большое. Пейте Спасибо. Пейте Спасибо. Пейте Спасибо. Пейте Спасибо. 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 Спасибо
She says work. <laughs> she said that everyone who's left wants to come back here. And so she's asking us to come back here more often. The stadium, it's around the corner. Yes, she lives right by the stadium. The famous Sharif football team that's playing Real Madrid tonight. So after this, we're gonna go watch the game and this is where they play and train. I think in some ways being able to speak Russian again brings Eric back to his childhood in Russia. So it's um, it's very sweet. Eric, are you getting adopted as a yeah. grandson? This is my new grandma. <laughs> <laughs> this is like throwback to Chernobyl. <laughs> like endless amounts of food. Spicy, but so that's why. Kushin. 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 She's teaching me Russian and giving me a. She saw me stretch for one second and she's like, I'll give you a massage. <laughs> she literally has fed us so much and then she's giving us the. Spasiba Bolchoy. Paka, Paisiba. Spasiba Lapsia. Spasiba you got a new grandma. She said you found a grandma. Yeah. <laughs> what a sweetheart. After being adopted by our new local grandma, it was time for us to watch what would become a game that the whole world would talk about the next day as the local team accomplished the impossible. <laughs> I think people are drinking tonight, and I think we might join them. It is time for us to leave, but as Eric befriended and got adopted by this grandma, she told us that she has a very tricky eye surgery that's going to cost her about $750. She said some people here make about $150 per month in salary, so if that's true, Getting $800 would take about five and a half months to make. And uh, we wanted to surprise her with it. She's probably not going to take it. So we're going to have to strategize. Привет! Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, she got us breakfast? This is crazy. I'm gonna cry. Нет, не покажем. Я хотел. Что хотел? Значит, мы решили. Что мы решили? Мы хотели вам помочь с операцией. Эти. Мы хотим тебе помочь с операцией, так мы принесли конверт к вам, вы вам дадите и все. Нет, мы уже решили. Уже нельзя. Надо сказать да. Уже все закончено. Все, берите, прячьте и домой берите. Спасибо вам. Все, вам удачи, удачи. Спасибо. Звоните. Конечно. Ваши телефоны. А, write down the phone numbers. Он говорит, вы сказали, что Бог нас к вам принес, так прислал, так мы хотим вам помочь. Я сейчас тоже молилась, где же вы так долго где? Спасибо, внук. It's honestly hard to describe the magic that we felt carried by on this trip. We felt so welcomed by the kindness of the babushkas and the hopeful energy from many of those who still live there. And then, of course, for their local team to create one of the biggest upsets in sports history while we were in the country felt completely impossible to fathom. The economic opportunities in this country unfortunately seem very hard to find. Many live and survive in rough conditions, but numerous locals we met also seem to have been able to maintain a positive spirit to continue living their lives despite their tough 
circumstances. Finally, a local told us a tale elders share with their grandkids, that when God made earth and distributed the land to all its nations, when he got to Transnistria, he ran out of space. And so, he had to take a little piece of heaven and place it here instead. Now, I don't know where this quote comes from or the intention behind why it's shared. But if these people can look at their home in that way, I'd hope that all of us could start doing that about our own homes as well. We'll see you next week. What are you doing? What do you mean? What, what are, are you doing? What time is it? What it's time a, is it? It's a... What do you do here? What is your job? I've been your assistant for two weeks. Then you know that at 9.05, I like to do what? Your phone, your news. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, there we go. Sorry. All I needed was Morning Brew because Morning Brew is actually the sponsor of today's video. Morning Brew is a free daily newsletter that takes five minutes to read and keeps you up to date on not only what's going on in the world, but information you wouldn't normally see in the news. For example, this past week, I learned that the US is installing $2.8 billion worth of wind turbines off the coast of Martha's Vineyard, which will generate power for 400,000 homes. There is no reason not to subscribe to Morning Brew if you're interested in business, finance, or tech. It's completely free and takes less than 15 seconds to subscribe. Go to morningbrew.com slash yes theory or click the link in the description below to subscribe to Morning Brew today. When I used to wake up in the morning, my first instinct would be to grab my phone check social media and browse for 15 minutes. I never really felt like I learned or gained anything from this routine until a friend mentioned Morning Brew to me. Now I feel like I'm discovering stories I wouldn't normally find in half the time I used to spend on my phone. So click the link in the description below to sign up for free and we'll see you next week. What was it that you were doing? Getting you ready. Okay, well keep doing that. <laughs>